The main reason uh, for rejecting radioactive iodine nowadays is the, the, the idea that some patients will go into remission and not have to be on any medicine at all. And of course, if you've had radioiodine or surgery, uh, you'll have to be on thyroid hormone replacement. So remission is the hope that people have. Um, so in some cases, it's probably a false hope. But for many pe people, re remission remains a distinct possibility. And then um, there's the, the risk of worsening thyroid eye disease, which is a definite problem for radioiodine, and especially in people that already have eye disease. But even in people that don't have eye disease, uh, radioiodine uh, can precipitate it or worsen it. It can be this worsening or precipitation. The worsening certainly could be prevented in some cases by treating people with steroids or prednisone for a few weeks after the radioiodine. But that is one fear that people have. And then there's also been studies suggesting that people who've been treated with radioiodine may have a higher frequency of certain cancers later on in life. This is controversial, but there are studies that suggest that the risk of solid tumors like breast cancer, colon cancer, may be slightly higher in patients who are treated with radioiodine. So this, there's been this dramatic shift, not just in the US, but all over the world, for antithyroid drugs being the major treatment for the initial management of patients who have Graves' disease. 